Hi, this is Richard Bolstad. I'm an NLP trainer and I train across the world each year. And one of the things that I do is I teach NLP practitioners and master practitioners. And my experience over the 30 years of teaching them is that there's one set of NLP techniques that my therapists and coaches use more than any other set, and that is the timeline therapy processes. So these processes, which were developed by Dr. Tad James, are a specific subset of NLP processes that deal with how the brain codes time. So we now know that your, your brain, your hippocampus and amygdala, uh, the temporary memory storage centers, and when you have a new experience, they store where you were and, and the kind of uh, time of the events in the hippocampus, and they store the emotional component in the amygdala. So that means, is it important? Is it um, emotionally unpleasant or pleasant? So is it exciting or scary or painful, something like that? Now, what happens is that sometimes these events don't get adequately reprocessed afterwards, and someone could be carrying on through their life um, dealing with limitations that come from an event that was um, long, uh, unnecessary to hold on to. So what we do is we, we have a process for identifying where your brain, your unconscious mind thinks that event was, where and when it was, and going back and reorganizing your memory in two ways. Firstly, we get you to identify what could you positively have learned from the event, because we don't want to eliminate events from your memory, that's kind of important. And secondly, uh, uh, we get you to let go of the emotion that went with it so that the learnings guide your behavior in future. Now, what, one of the things we can do then is we can go out into the future and using that same memory system, the way that your brain expects the future, we can install in the future goals so that your brain actually expects them to happen and this is kind of like tonight you expect to need to sleep when it's dark and so you've got a plan and that plan you make as if it was absolutely going to happen of course now some things you're thinking well today if i get time i'll do such and such and that's a very different experience what we want to show you how to do is to take things from well if i get around to it i'll do it and put them in the other category of, yeah, this is absolutely gonna happen, I'm gonna make sure that this happens, so that you maximize the chances you'll achieve the things you want to achieve and create the future that you want to create. Now, that's a nice theory. Is there any research about this? Well, yeah, there is. So, uh, firstly, we have researched that people who do timeline therapy processes can easily let go of old emotions like uh, anxiety, uh, depression, and so on. Um, so we have evidence evidence that uh, people emotionally change compared to people who do uh, just other processes that, that were sort of control processes. But the most interesting research that we have was done by a couple of friends of mine in Denmark, and it was done, uh, supervised by the Danish government. And they studied people who were adults who had asthma. Now, asthma is a medical condition. We, we don't claim to treat medical conditions. What we can do is we can show people who have a medical condition how to respond more effectively to their life. And in this case, what that did, using the timeline therapy processes with half of the people in that research study, is that when they followed up a year later, not only have the people who did the NLP at the start of the year had, um, had their asthma attacks drop to zero, but they've actually also expanded their lung capacity, whereas in the control group, their lung capacity has dropped. They've continued having sleep disturbance, asthma attacks, and, and so on. So that, that means that if you deal with this emotional baggage from the past, then it makes it more possible for your body to do its own process of, of naturally healing. And that's, in fact, what the medical doctor who was running this study, uh, Jorn Lund, said um, about these results that, well, this had nothing to do with asthma, obviously. So what has happened here is that changing the person's uh, emotional response to life has changed the way that their body could respond to the asthma. So this is a set of techniques that's easy to learn in a single weekend. And then what my students find is that they can take it out. It makes sense to people. A lot of people have a belief that something in the past is holding them back from achieving things in their future. And this kind of fits in with that event. We're not arguing that it's true. We're not saying that we go back to real events in the past. 
what we're saying is that it makes sense to your unconscious mind and that is how the change happens. So I'm very, very excited to be able to show you these techniques. I look forward to seeing you on this two-day Timeline Therapy Practitioner Training with the International Timeline Therapy Association. I'm Richard Bolstad and look forward to seeing you soon.